Citroën is probably responsible for some of France's most recognizable designs, like the 1934 Traction Avant or the 1955 DS19. But probably the most recognizable Citroën of all is the 2CV or 2 chevaux, as it's affectionately called. In 1936, the designer of the 2CV, Pierre Boulanger, described his car as an umbrella over four wheels. Now, the story goes that he told his designers that he wanted a car capable of carrying a basket of eggs across a plowed field without breaking them. And that probably goes a long way to describing why this car has such a soft suspension. And we'll show you that in a minute. The first 2CV prototype was developed in 1937, but when the Second World War broke out in 1939, Boulanger destroyed all the prototypes to prevent them from falling into the hands of the Nazis. It wasn't until 1948 that the first production model was introduced, and it was an immediate success. The first 2CV was powered by a 375cc two-cylinder engine with a whopping nine horsepower. Even by 1948 standards, the 2CV was a stair. It had a cable pull starter, hand-operated wipers, a dipstick for a fuel gauge, and had no door locks or turn signals. But it was comfortable, roomy, fuel efficient, and most of all, cheap. In 1955, the size of the engine went up to 425 cc, still less than half a liter. In 1970, it got bumped up to 602 cc's, and that's what's featured in this 2CV6 that we have here. How much power? 33 horsepower. Just like the Volkswagen Beetle, the 2CV was an affordable people's car with lots of character. And you certainly need a little joie de vivre to use the shifter because it comes right through the firewall and takes a little bit of practice. Oops. <laughs> the thing is, you run through the gears very quickly and the top speed, you might be able to get out and run a little bit faster. Considering this car was produced until 1990, it's very primitive inside. And you know what? I wouldn't want to get hit by a big SUV in this. It's paper thin. The suspension is very soft. When you put the car into a corner, it leans way over. Apparently, Pierre Boulanger was a tall man, so there's lots of headroom. The interior is sparse, but the seats are pretty comfortable and really soft. What I like especially is the fact that the whole roof comes off. Final production of this car stopped in 1990, if you can believe it. And over the years, it came in many different forms with different names, including the Diane, the Ami, the Bijou, and the Sahara, and the Mahari. But do you know what? Most people still refer to it in their hearts as the 2CV.